This is the kind of event that I love. Those of you who have been my students over the years know that for 50 years I've started almost every class with a poem. It just takes us to a different level than you know that. Thank you, Red Hand Press and the Broad Stage for putting this together. Uh, today you're going to hear four mixed duets of my music. Very different pieces on poems that I've loved over the years. Those of you who know my music uh, know these pieces in their choral version. But I love this genre of two people singing this, a man and a woman, singing this, these poems to each other. And we're going to start with Rilke. Uh, I've sent Rilke a lot over my life, um, but only in French. You know him from the German things, but you know that the last two years of his life, he went to Mazot, Switzerland, and wrote nothing but French poems. 400 of them poured out of them. And um, I have a, somewhat of a background in French, so those, those are the ones that attracted me. Diriton, uh, uh, so they say, is from a set of 25 poems a man wrote about roses back in 1924. And 25 years ago exactly, I was commissioned by a, a choral group in Portland, Oregon, my hometown, to write a piece uh, to be amongst chanson by Hindemith and Sanson. And I thought it would be very interesting for me as an American to add chanson to that as well. And right about that same time on my book prowls, I found the newly published book of all the French poems uh, by Rilke. And I opened it up and my eyes lit on 25 poems about roses. Well, Portland, Oregon, my hometown, it calls itself the City of Roses. I've marched in the Rose Parade, playing trumpet in the rain for many years as a kid. <laughs> and I thought it would be very appropriate. So I actually started out with this piece, De Riton, which I designed as really a chanson populaire, a piece that I, I decided so it like, like was always there, had never been composed, as a French folk song, a tune. And I followed it up. I couldn't resist this. I ended up writing four more of these pieces, too. And so the Portland, Oregon group got a whole uh, cycle out of me on Rilke poems. But I love Rilke. He forces you to use your imagination. You know that <coughs> reading him. So I'm going to read the translation. And then my dear friends, Rod and Karen Gilfrey, will perform De Riton as the first of four mixed duet settings. A short poem. In fact, Rilke himself called them bonbons. Just, just delightful little divertissement, almost. Short poems about roses of all kinds. And this one I loved, and I did a poem I chose to use. It's almost a throwaway line in the poem. It's just so they say. But I used it as a refrain. Did a poem. Abandon surrounding abandon. Tenderness touching tenderness. Your oneness endlessly caresses itself, so they say, self-caressing through its own clear reflection. Thus you invent the theme of Narcissus fulfilled. And I've always felt this was about self-worth. I felt that. So, do it again. Oh, 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 
footstep in the alleyway. Sweep of the wind sifting the leaves. Jeweler of the spider web, connoisseur of the tongues of of the small gate, choreographer of entrances and exits, midnight whisper traveling the lives.
must watch for me beside the ground on this shining night. This Thank you.